Hello there, uh, my name is Norbert Agrotech and today I just would like to share with you uh, my very very important discovery. Uh, this discovery is just not really very, very new or anything like this, but uh, it is actually very on time at the moment. Especially now, uh, with lots of women you know, who just want to look really nice and young and uh, they actually struggle or uh, they just don't know how to do it and just, just go and just do the surgery, just to make the boobs big and stuff like that. This doesn't work um, for long term really because uh, it is about something which is more important uh, um, in uh, so many meanings. Uh, for example, you know, having this young young heart, you know, having this young mind which is uh which is so important in terms of uh in ter terms of uh being with other people, you know, and having this fountain of uh fountain of uh young uh emotions, fountain of uh yuff 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 and it is so 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 um, attractive is so attractive of uh, actually everything what you are touching and doing at the moment. And um, I was um, very very inspired recently by my friend. You know, he's so so uh, he's so actually uh, mature. She's uh, uh, quite she's early early seventies, and you know, you look at her. You know, you look at the spark in her eyes and. Um, it's just kind of like amazing, absolutely amazing, and the the fact you know she's so positive. She's kind of like um, she went through absolutely horrible things in her life, you know, and never ever been focused on those things. And uh, I was just talking to her, and she said, you know, I could always just start, uh, say, you know, I've been there, I did this, you know, the, the, I could uh, j be very very jaded and. She said, um, I never been doing this because I didn't uh, feel the benefit, you know, I didn't feel this was working for me. And this is so important. And her view of life, uh, you know, her view on on uh, on love, on relationship, um, it was always so positive. Despite the fact, you know, she got hurt, you know, the things didn't work, you know, she went through so many struggles. And she said, no, the struggles are part of, you know, our experience. And this is the time when... People just need to realize this, you know. Uh, we're going for struggles, uh, sometimes because we are attracting the struggles, because we are thinking struggles, struggles, struggles all the time. So we are sending messages to the universe, you know, struggles. So if you are going to think success, 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 happiness, you will just send the messages to the universe, you know. You want this more, you want success, you, are, uh, you want happiness, uh, you want this kind of positive thing. So you just need to be careful about the way you're thinking, about the way you just doing things, you can't send mixed, confused messages to the universe. Because if you are going to send those messages, you will get um, what you are sending when you are asking you know, the universe for you. So um, I'm still not uh, particularly uh, brilliantly well. Uh, I'm still recovering after I think the most awful tonsillitis of the century. Um, still uh, my voice is uh, recovering. Um, but I said to myself, no, 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 I am feeling, in the last few days I feel much, much better. I got uh, my computer back finally uh, since Thursday. Um, I think, <coughs> I think the conversation with my neighbor was important as well because last week uh, on Thursday I, I uh, actually, actually, you know, we are going through the time, you know, when we are positive or when we are focused on open and we just do things and we go out to storm and as far as something happened to me, uh, something which um, really deeply affected my ability to stay focused, my ability to uh, be on the top and just don't get overwhelmed by uh, things. And um, I had I was working this project for so long and this project turned nearly 12, 11 months. And project turned into a completely, completely disaster. Um, originally when I was looking at this uh, on a Thursday, but, um, but, 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 and it's funny really, when you're getting yourself stressed, you must uh, realize this kind of uh, incredible connection you know, to your health. 
because later what happened, you know, I uh, on Friday morning, you know, I just woke up in the morning with the most incredible pain in my throat uh, and my tonsils I couldn't even swallow. So I, after this, I said to myself, I will never ever take this kind, any kind of uh, thing which doesn't go right. I will not take this, you know, even seriously. I will just not take. Look at this, you know, in the way I look looked on the first day. Learn, I learned the lesson, and it's no chance to react in this way. Um, I uh, I lost a few opportunities during this time, but I I physically I just couldn't. I just need a time for myself. I need a time for myself, and that really happened really just to me. But I need a time for myself. Completely sweet the things, you know. I didn't even go on the computer. <laughs> the place just knew the first day, and um, <laughs> I just needed to cut myself off from certain things. Um, but it's good. It was very good today. Not today because no, I just look at it differently. No. Um, this experience was uh, incredibly important because um, originally I look at this uh, from perspective of oh it's just turning to purely disaster but it was the biggest blessing ever which happened to me. Um, I'm so blessed with this experience. I learned so much. And I need to go back to the topic you know which is so important. Uh, if despite the things that happen in your life you need to be focused. You need to, you need, to, you can't get yourself overwhelmed by pessimism and cynicism. Uh, you just need to keep this zest for life, you know, this appetite for life, appetite for adventures, you know, and which is so characteristic for a new, empowered, new, young mind, you know, and this willingness to try new things, despite the fact, you know, I've been trying. Doing just your things and it doesn't work whatsoever. I don't care. I just, <laughs> just was reminded. Thomas Edison before he invented, you know, the um, the electricity. You know, he did nearly five thousand tries experiments. So I shouldn't feel I shouldn't feel upset. You know, I shouldn't feel upset. I should be kind of like a focus and um, I shouldn't be discouraged. So I'm not discouraged. Be adventures, you know, and new things, new, even if they are failures, you no. Know, uh, this is new experience. I think people should, shouldn't look at failures as something bad. This is new experience, this is part of our life. And I was having this bad, bad, bad kind of subconscious feeling about if something goes wrong, you know. A lot of things happen wrong, you know, um, in the last, you know, uh, few months, and I've probably been overwhelmed a little bit by this. But I, I said to myself, Margot, stop thinking about those um, outcomes as negative things. So I stopped. I stopped, completely stopped and and this is the most important thing. And just the willingness to try new things. I just wake up this morning and I said to myself, this is it, I'm trying new things. I'm just trying to look at this from a different corner. I'm just going to crunch uh, in the next few minutes uh, with something which I um, need to uh, and just try and do it. Just try and do it. Uh, be adventurous. Excited about the, all the uh, possibilities. And and this is just so attractive. And um, and I was just reading this. And uh, my friend just said to me, Margaret, this is just so funny. But uh, I, I recently was reading uh, some kind of like um, like uh, the most uh, attractive things for men. And this was just actually meeting the criteria. Men, you know, love so much. Uh, not maybe long, uh, young, uh, looking women, but uh, women which acting young, you know, and um, it is just uh, this kind of advice, you know, this kind of you know uh, conversation which I had, you can apply to relationships as well. So just just be full of optimism, you know, be uh, adventurous, you know, try new things, willing to do new things. Keep the zest, uh, you know, for life. You know, uh, avoid pessimism. Uh, avoid uh, jading. You know, ah, oh, you know, I don't want to try new things. You know, I, I got hurt. You know, um, I, I was treated by men like in this way. Okay, everybody went through difficult things, through difficult relationships, but you need to close this chapter. You need to close this chapter and start a new day. And on the way, sometimes how you can do it is just by burning the uh, bridges and 
bury the things and just realize that you know, we are only a human being, we all make mistakes, but keep this young uh, spirit, which I think you can't uh, replace with um, plastic surgeries, you can't replace this with um, uh, two, five size bigger boobs, you know, or whatever. You can't physically, you can't, because this is impossible to replace. And um, I had this incredible luck in the last few days when I was so ill uh, to see absolutely inspirational women. And I look at them, and some of them, you know, they went through really absolutely struggles in her in their lives. And but they are incredible, absolutely incredible. And I don't care, you know, if I fall, you know, a million times. You know, I don't even care. Uh, I've got my goal in my head, you know, and the goal is so strong and. Uh, Nothing actually will just tear it down. So, um, you fall here, uh, and, and on the other side, I don't care. I just don't care. I just have got this focus, I've got this idea, I've got this vision, and, um, which always been there, but now it's kind of like unstoppable, and nobody's just going to let me down. So, especially, especially because I'm not get, uh, going to let myself down. So, this is, uh, this is the most important thing in this process, you know. The mindset is the key. It's not about the failures. It's not about how many failures you had. It's not about, um, how many times you did some, uh, things wrong. It's not about this. It's just all about your mindset. If your mindset is right, whatever happened, whatever kind of failures and struggles will, will, you will face. You will deal with them and you will just put them on the side okay it's happening but i've got my goal to be stronger than failures and i will carry on okay so this is the new um this is kind of for me the brilliant uh brilliant uh kind of finish because i i was uh really struggling with it i was really struggling with it it's really bothered me um, but no, no, we need to be focused, we need to be inspired, we need to be kind of blessed for every single moment which we are having. So thank you, thank you so much for watching and I hope this helped you because actually this helped me so, so much. This helped me so much and um, not always you can be 100% positive, but um, but work on yourself. I just, uh, uh, you know, I can't be more persuaded, persuaded, I just, I can't be more happy uh, with the fact, you know, I just grab the hold of this the biggest, you know, I think cringing part of my personality, you know, I'm so happy, I'm so happy, I'm getting rid of it. So thank you so much for watching and I wish you a brilliant day and don't let anybody just tell you <laughs> what you can, what you can't, okay? Thank you so much, especially... Don't let your little brain telling you what you can and what you can't, okay? You just make this vision bigger, you know. If it's not enough big, you just make this, big, uh, this vision bigger and expand and do everything that needs to be done in order just to succeed, okay? Because this is the way it should be. So thank you so much and I wish you a brilliant day and hopefully, hopefully the struggles will come because they will not have a chance to send the competition from you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.